they were going to take a walk through a newly developed perennial polyculture that we're very excited about, sort of modeled on some tropical systems. So let's take a look at those first. This is in Atlas Cañadas in Mexico. We have a coralline tree that fixes nitrogen. Uh, climbing on that, we have a chayote squash, which is a perennial squash. And then underneath is a shade-tolerant perennial vegetable, tapijelote, which is a kind of palm with edible flower, flower buds. Here at Echo in Florida, we have Madre de Cacao as our living trellis, which is a nitrogen fixer as well. Passion fruit climbing on that, and coconuts as the eventual overstory. Now we're back at our garden in Holyoke, and you can see these young Siberian pea shrubs are sort of just uh, whips still, you would say. Uh, and um, climbing those, we have yamberry. The Siberian pea shrub is a very nice nitrogen fixer, very reliable in our climate. You can see it hits a pretty good size. It also has edible beans, although we're not growing it for that here. It's mostly just a nitrogen fixing living trellis. Then uh, climbing on that, we have yamberry or Chinese yam, which we've determined very productive here. It makes these little tiny um, yams on the vine themselves like little berries and then those can be cooked up like meat potatoes we really like them and it can yield here up to three to four gallons per plant which is quite remarkable here you can see those yam berries and also the main crop yam which we won't be digging in this system uh, and then uh, as an understory underneath we have a nitrogen fixing ground cover bird's foot trefoil which is very nice it's tolerant of our urban soils and so on and uh, Beneath that are hiding a bunch of other crops. Here's ramps, which is dormant and shade tolerant. That's a long-term crop for us. We also have elephant garlic, which are only, only growing in the early years, first maybe three or four years. Uh, and then you can also see some crut leeks are starting to come up, uh, which is another perennial leek. So at this point, we're really uh, working with alliums in the understory to bring in a second vegetable crop. And the ramps will stay really as long, even once this is fully mature, those ramps will continue to come up. So if you'd like to learn more about uh, this and other polycultures and come see them in person, please check out our upcoming Edible Forest Gardens workshop here in Massachusetts.